Cherenche getting it down to Merkley. Merkley, Goldberg, Cherenche out here right now. And the puck to center. Two minutes gone in the period. Clean pass down to right wing. Goldberg back in. Center side! Yeah! The veteran goaltender. Again, it's his final year in the WHL for Comrie. It's Merkley, corner, trying to go back on top. Sharon Shea knocked away and sent all the way down the ice here by Nichols. And if you're a Winnipeg Jets fan, get excited about this guy, as Pierre McGuire would say shortly before his internal combustion. Second round pick of the Jets from 2013. Charchi back in on left wing. Charchi takes back on the goal. He trying to go back up top. Blue on Merkley knocked his side. And here's Hillis back on the goal. Smothered covered by Goldburn. In there to help on is Cole Lenneker. Now for Goldburn and Board. He'll go back up top to the blue line. And looking in, Cole Martin. Martin, 21 years of age, now for Charche. Back for Martin at the blue line. He'll feed up here to Merkley. Merkley down low for Lenneker. Back for Merkley. Shot went wide. 25 in a power play. And six minutes gone in period number one. Rockets with a one thing lead. In the right corner. Hamannick takes Bonnie and Lenneker. Charche now trying to stand in front. Merkley can't get a shot because the puck was in his skates. Merkley trying to go back here to Martin. Aaron pass. And it's out at center. Here's Goldman trying to charge back in on right wing. He'll feed to the right corner. Merkley back up top. Charche! Great eight chance. And a shot taken. And a good job to get on the shooting line there. The defenseman Morrison to knock that shot aside. And what I like about Comrie there, after the uh, shot was taken, block was made. Comrie took his stick. Well, James all the way back towards the Rocket Blue Line. Wow, Comrie's been sensational. He's had to be still only one. Nothing. Rockets could be up by three. Merkley takes back on the American goal. Trying to get away from Hamannick. He's the team captain here for Tri City. And now Charche has it. He'll feed a Goldberg. Blue line, Devontae Stevens, a shot, blocked, and it's sent down to center. And picked up by Merkley on right wing, waits for his mates to get on side, and he'll dump it in. 11 shots combined, Rockets 8, Tri-City 3. That being the shots on goal, by the way. one nothing. Rockets the lead. There's Hamannick on the right side of his own net. Handcuffed in the play by Merkley, but he stayed with the puck at Hamannick. Now he'll go over, and he'll send it in on the feed from Skadel. Trying to go on their spoon, Connor Carlo. Carlo back on his own net. He'll leave it behind the goal for Wotherspoon. Wotherspoon up the left side. Late pass right side center. And backhanded deep inside the attacking zone by Geeky. Geeky's 16 years of age, so a young guy getting some valuable playoff playing time. Here's Goldberg on the right wing inside the zone. Goes wide on Wotherspoon, has it down the right corner. Goldberg, he'll leave it there. And it's 1-0 on left wing, and here they come now to center ice to the Tri-City Americans on a 3-2. On right wing, Geeky, he'll dump it back on the rocket net. Joe Gantby's there, deep in the right corner. Got away from one check, got away from James. Picked up by Merkley in the corner. Merkley trying to sidestep a check. He'll get it out of center with Merkley as he got away from Playfair. And Merkley back in, trying to feed here to Dubay. Can't get a shot, beats the shot. Chance! Takes back on the goal. Cherche behind the net, and then he lost the puck. Great scoring chance for Cherche, but he just stick handled too long. Yeah, he couldn't tough to score when you're being hooked, in my opinion. Cherche thwarted on that attempt, but the Rockets just continue to apply the pressure. Ty Comrie and Sailor got it down to center for Nichols. Puck pedal there with Bowie. Nichols tries to move in. And now for Boma to his shot. And a save by Whistle there. Puck comes down in front. And knocked away right pad Whistle. Kelowna takes it out of center on a four on two. Back in comes uh, Sharche. He lost the puck and a ball McHugh the other way. Late pass center. The left side. Trying to move is Sandu. Sandu lost it to Gamby. Picked up by Merkley. Merkley hit by McHugh. Good contact there. Converging on him is Joe Gamby. Merkley trying to get back up. Puck just inside the rocket line with 2.33 left to go here in the opening period of play. And Gamby tries to work the wall. As does Sandu. And now Merkley won it. And he'll clear and get it back out of center. Race for left side board. Dubé there, and he will snap it back inside the American zone. McHugh with a big hit on Merkley, a clean hit. Then he ended up with a puck, and Joe Gatby just comes flying over and hits McHugh with a clean hit as they battle away. No need to... Uh and he'll move it up the window and get it back out of the neutral zone. Here's Hamannick with it now at the Tri-City American Blue Line for Wotherspoon. Center play fair, that off the mark. And it goes back on the Rocket goal, and here's Martin. Near side, Tyrell Goldburn, who had an assist on the Rockets' own goal tonight. For dry saddle, late pass right side. Here goes Merkley back in. Merkley waiting, holding, and then forced to the corner here by Wotherspoon. Merkley trying to go back towards the blue line, did. Johansson, long-range shot, and a save made by the goaltender, Comrie. Lucas Johansson making his 
Western Hockey League playoff debut here tonight. Robert, a nice hit against the near board here on Geeky. But the puck comes back inside the rocket zone. Here's a long range shot from James Wide. Near side board, Tyrell Goldberg's going to hop out on the left wing. And Goldberg out of center again to be joining the attack. Inside the zone, Markley waits, holds, shot, save, another chance. And that face off outside the rocket blue line. Off the face off, it's won by Sharche, picked up by Merkley, crosses delivery for Stadel. He'll take it out of center, he'll gun it in. Shot one wide, far side, Sharche, the lone man to score tonight. Right corner, Merkley, trying to go back to his blue line, Martin, knocked aside by Brian Williams, and he'll dart down to center. Pass on left wing, trying to join the attack here, Morrison, knocked away by Merkley, it's just outside the rocket line. Merkley takes body here, I think, on Sandu. And now comes loose for Charche. He'll bring it on right wing back inside the zone. Going one on Carlo. Carlo lost it. Charche got it. And then Carlo does a good job of recover. He'll nudge it on right wing for Bowman McHugh. He'll send his center. And Stadel picks it off there. And he'll feed a Charche. He'll counter back in on right wing. Charche, zone. Merkley, shot. Not a lot of velocity on it. Knocked away by Carlo. He'll get it down to center for Brian Williams. He's out of gas, but he'll move back in on right wing. Long range rush shot would have gone wide of the rocket net. But a good glove there by Whistle. He'll hang on, pushing and shoving at the side. Right up the center of the ice, draws a face-off to the left of Comrie. And Charche, he'll do damage with Sandu. One here by the Rockets. Pick up by Goldberg now in the right corner. Looks in, goes wide, and Carlo cuts towards the goal. I like that play. But a save made by Comrie. Picked up against the airboard by Martin. He'll pin over to Mark Lay, but it went up his skate blade. And Sandu has it on his stick now, and he'll dart to center. Oh, he's tripped on the play by Goldberg. I'll tell you, both officials, Gord, letting it go here tonight. There could have been a clear penalty there. Yeah, a bit of a soft call there could have been, but again, there could have been a minor. We've had one power play. That's it. I think Price City's been the more physical team this period as well. Here's McHugh at center of steel. He'll fit out of Sandu on right wing, but lost it to Martin. He'll convert Janet. He'll fit out of Sharche. Sharche center right side, Merkley. Merkley trying to get away from Carlo. And now Williams is in there. Has it now right at the Tri-City American blue line. Tries to move forward. He bangs bodies with Merkley on the play. Big time scrum. And now one here by Bo McHugh. He'll dump it back towards the American blue line. Here's Hamannick. He'll feed out of Carlo. Carlo, center left side. Brian Williams, nice hit here. Merkley, he knocks down Carlo. The puck's in all the way back from the rocket goal. So Nick Merkley, a nice hit here on the uh, defenseman. Carlo, they're knocking him on his rear end. The officiating as well. That's a penalty any time. Preseason playoffs, regular season up seven, regular season up seven one down seven one. Don't matter. You have to call that. Bailey in the box for two undisciplined. Yeah, you just can't take it. Here's a steal now. Rockets taking a center. Charge down to tone one short handed with Merkley. Charge Merkley. And a draw to the left of Comrie, won by Kelowna. Charge in with it there. He'll fit out Markley one time, shot right pad save. Made by Comrie. One year by Kelowna's Lenniker. Blow line, Martin left point. There's that Markley cross his feet, will hit an active stick on McHugh, and it bounces down to center. McHugh will fade off here to play fair, and he'll literally kick it back towards the rocket line. Comrie just reads the cross ice pass too well to score on that. He is just there all the time. Perhaps maybe shorten it up in the little center pass there between the hash marks. We'll see what happens. Don't think the Rockets will be taking power play advice from me, but that's just what I think. We'll give you the answer in the third. Face off to the right of Wessel. Again, Kelowna on the power play for another 121. And here comes Berkeley. Center ice area. Right side, Lenniker back in. Lenniker will stop deep in the right corner. Trying to feed him Merkley the dot. Blue line, Martin. He'll look in. He won't fire. He'll feed him Merkley now at the left face off circle. Merkley has it out against the airboard. Cross his feet almost picked off. By Sandu, Charnche, back to Merkley, looks in, here's the chance, he'll try to nudge it there! Goldberg taking a shot away, covered by Watherspoon, and Nichols dumps it all the way down the ice. Watherspoon does a good job to in the second period, and Kelowna buzzing around as they've rewrited the ship a little bit after Tri-City had a good push early in period number two. Gatby tries to move it inside the zone, but he lost it. And the Rockets got to peel off, or they'd be called an offside. Well, look at Charche go. He lost it and then won it to Nichols. And he'll go over and steal off the stick of Coughlin. Center's in front. And he'll pick up by Merkley. He'll feed to the corner, Tyrell Goldburn. And Goldburn over there, behind the goal. Sends it in front. And a skate went wide. Into the side of the net. Nezleb says, give me this puck. I'm going to rip it to center. Yeah, and they can't get off for a line change either. Nichols does, but that's it. It's full steam ahead right now for the Rockets. It's in the right corner. Sharche for 20. 
Courtney will try to take back from the goal loss to DiCarlo. And it's already scored down the corner. And there's Merkley. Merkley with it there. Merkley near his side board. Blue line, bow. Here's the gun. The shot went wide. Camped into the blue line, Johansson. Johansson, corner. Going to really try to open this up. They are now all seated at the bench. The Rockets mainly standing except for a few who are making themselves comfortable for the moment. Here's Luke at center. Lost it to Tyrell Goldburn. He'll try to hurry to it on left wing. Lost it to top wing, and he'll move it back towards the Rocket blue line. And there's Lucas Johansson left side center. He'll try to work it back into the try zone. Knocked aside by Hamlin. He'll move it on left wing. Now for top wing, and he'll guide it back towards the Rocket blue. Ganton B. Here, Lucas Johansson. Oops, center Charche. Charche hit off it by Topping. Good contact here in the neutral zone. And it was sent by the Americans back in. On the goal, here's Hillis. He says, what the heck? Might as well go to the attack here. My team trails 4-0. He had it back on the goal, then lost it. He's in the corner, Gatenby. Hill moving far side for Johansson, then for Tyrell Goldberg. Goldberg can't get away from Nijleb. Right corner, Gutierrez. Gutierrez now right side board. He'll send it with the blue line. A shot. Blocked. It's back on the goal, working to it there, Nash left. It's brought in the shot! Whistle down! No shot taken, blocked in front. Feeds off here to Gage Corny at the right dot. Blue line, Bowie, far side, Merkley went up a skate. Bowie got it back, for defeated dry settle. Dry settle gets the puck to settle down. Blue line, Albert Bowie, he's the last man back. Rockets got a shorthanded goal in the game as well tonight. Here's a shot, blue line, Bowie. In a, and once again, yeah, she, the penalty uh, came on uh, Hillis. Hillis, who was the man that was taken down here by Goldburn. That's where the penalty occurred, and not Nijalab being taken down. And it's back for the Rocket goal, and there's Stadel. He'll leave it there for Martin. Martin had to poke away by Nijalab, who tried to center out in front. But Martin is there, got away from Nichols. And there goes Martin out of center to the attack. On right wing, Merkley back in. But Martin looks, waits, holds, and sends it in front. And Nash Labs knocks that aside and cleared by Carlo to center. And Coglin on the penalty box. And now it's a power play chance for Tri-City for a minute 27. Power play brought to you by Land Rover Kelowna. But the puck located by Merkley by his own goal. He'll look for open space and ice and he will. Another spoon at center. Tries to move his way inside the rocket zone. Knocked away. And now it goes back towards the Tri-City American blue line. Brian Williams at center. Right side. Got away here from Charche. Tries to skate in. Cut down by Martin. Puck sitting close down by Merkley. And Merkley now the other way on the right wing. Merkley's got Charche with him. Merkley feeds Charche. Here's the shot! Morrison for Carlo. Carlo, turnover, neutral zone. Merkley counters back in, waits and holds. Here's the shot, a weak one. As he was tripped on the play to the Cullen of Hawk from the power play. Maybe, I don't. That's, that's, yeah, I didn't expect that. Okay. I told you it'd be interesting. Well, yeah, we see Bailey on the point position here on the power play as well in the hockey game tonight. Power play brought to you by Land Rover Kelowna. And the puck back inside the Rockets zone. Here's Martin with it. He lost it now to Nichols. Nichols on the four check. He lost the handle. Get it up by Gutierrez. He'll try to knock it down Lou. And it's at the side of the net. Wes will leave it there for Merkley. Merkley at the right side. Can't question Nichols' work ethic. Team down 6 nothing, killing penalties like it's a tie game. Here's Merkley on right wing back in. Tied up against the near board by Wotherspoon. Plays here and there as well. Into the right corner for Tyrell Goldburn. Again, Goldburn has had a good game here tonight. Good energy on behalf of him, especially shorthanded. It's one, though, near side board by Playfair, and he'll alley up it all the way down with 5.23 left to go in the game, and 1.10 left in the Rocket Man advantage. And Merkley back on the goal. He'll feed it to Martin up the right side. Tri-City American power play, 2.43 to go. Rockets up 6 now. Yeah, we're ramping it up here in postseason play on AM 11.50. As, as Gore talked about, he'll be going to the bench. Tonight, we'll get some player reaction as well as Dan Lambert joining us here in the broadcast booth. So, and listen to the post-game show following this contest. Here's Williams. He'll try to skate in. Shot. Hit a leg wide. Merkley stabbed at it. Can't clear. Camped in now. Hymanak for Williams. The shot. And he hit the outside of the post. Good scoring chance right there for Tri-City. 40 in a power play. 2-10 left to go here in the game. It's 6-0. Kelowna. Merkley on left wing. Can he clear? He will. Chops it at center. And about.